Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. First of all, thank you so incredibly much for four thousand subscribers this past month like May has been absolutely insane ah uh, just thank you I never thought that I would reach 4,000 subscribers and especially not in this short amount of time I've gained so many new subscribers so thank you for following me and also thank you for the people who have always been subscribed to me before still thank you for keeping up to date with me by the way if you guys want to stay up to date with what I'm currently reading what I'm doing with my life I have uh, good rates but I also have snapchat Instagram plus an email address and links to my social media pages are in the description bar down below but today I am here to talk to you guys about all the books that I read in June In May, I challenged myself to read 50 pages a day, which for some people is a really hard thing to do, and for other people, it's super easy. And for me, it was kind of like in the middle. I thought that I was gonna make it, and to see the result of that, go watch my video. I really liked that challenge, and it made me read a whole lot more than what I did before it, so I decided to continue on with it. I'm still doing the challenge right now because today's the 29th of June, so I still have two days to read, so I'm pre-filming this video because I'm going to France, on vacation. So let's start with the books that I read in June. First off, I finished Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grouding. This is the first book in a duology and I started it last month. I read up until page 90 back then, so I read about 300 pages of that book. It is a YA historical fiction book about a kind of like alternate world where Hitler won World War II and we follow our main character Yael, who was placed in a work camp when she was a young girl. She was part of a really disturbing experiment and because of that, she is able to shape shift and she's able to change into people's faces. And what she wants to do is she is going into this race, which is being held by Hitler every single year, where you have to travel like halfway across the world on a motorcycle. And if you win that race, you get to meet Hitler and Yael wants to try to kill him. I think this was my first historical fiction book. I'm not too sure, but I really enjoyed it. World War II is a subject which I find really interesting and mainly also because of the fact that all of my grandparents have lived during that time as like children, bigger, smaller children, and it's always really fascinating to me. The suspense in this book was so extremely good. I love the way that it was written. You get kind of flashbacks of when Yael was in like the work camp versus her now during the race, which I really enjoyed. It gave the story and Yael as a character like so much more depth. I really enjoyed it, but I didn't like love 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 it but overall it was really good and I gave it a four out of five stars. Next up I wanted to read something that was kind of pride related because June is pride month so I finally picked up, I'm so happy I did this, I finally picked up Aristotle and Dante, woo shiny, uh, Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alir Sayans, I don't know how to pronounce his name, he's a Mexican American writer. Um, I almost read this book in two days but um, unfortunately I didn't. <laughs> it is so hot right now and I'm having such a bad cold but okay. It was so good. The writing style is so easy to get through and the chapters are really small so that's also something that helps me. In the beginning I did feel like you were like thrown into the story. There wasn't like a really easy going into it. Besides that I didn't really have anything which I felt wasn't good about this book. I loved the relationship between Aristotle and Dante. This story is about two Mexican-American boys. One identifies themselves as a bit more Mexican than the other but it is basically about how they become friends and their relationship together and it was absolutely wonderful. I'm definitely gonna have a look at the other books that this author has published but I really enjoyed it. I think I gave it a five out of five but I would probably more give it like a four and a half and I'm happy that I finally read this like booktube classic because it's been a long time since I've had this in my bookshelf. After that I just didn't know what I wanted to read or like what genre, how big of a book so then I let Tim, my boyfriend, decide which book I should read and I'm so glad that he picked Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne. Um, this is a YA contemporary novel that has to deal with a girl who has OCD. She is, I think, 
attending a new school right now or she's like attending college I don't know how the UK school system works She's really happy that she's gonna go to college to like a new school So people don't know her as the crazy girl because she has been into like kind of a hospital How do you say that a clinic you follow her through the course of like declining the amount of medicine that she's taking uh, Her new school experience she meets two amazing girls Amber and Lottie and they form this really great friendship it is about mental health and feminism and friendship and boys and it's so good i feel like this is a really impactful ya novel that a lot of like younger people should read the ocd was very interesting because i've never read about a main character who has ocd you really got to see how like her thinking process was and i feel like if you are getting triggered by those kinds of thoughts if you have had any like mental health issues in the past or are currently having it i wouldn't per se recommend it at that time right now i mean you you could definitely feel triggered by reading this book but fortunately I don't have any mental health issues I love this this is the first book in a trilogy but I believe that all of the books in this trilogy you can read it as separate books so I'm definitely gonna have a look at the other books in this series and I am definitely gonna read more of Holly Bourne's books I have two other of them so I have enough to get my Holly Bourne fix this year I'm really trying to stick myself to the rule that when I start a series I have to try and finish it as well because I'm so bad at doing that but because of that I started Blood for Blood by Ryan Grouding. This is the sequel to Wolf by Wolf. I am like a quarter through. Tomorrow is the last day of June and I feel like I can definitely get to the halfway point by then because I'm going on a plane so I'm definitely gonna read some. I'm not gonna tell you guys anything about the plot because spoilers for the first book. I think I'm enjoying it a little bit less than the first book but the suspense is still real and I'm definitely gonna continue on with it because I really do like Ryan Grouding's writing style. I won't be able to finish that book at the end of June. But like I said, if you guys want to stay up to date with what I'm reading, etc., you can click in the description box down below so you guys can see all of my social media pages. Let me know in the comments down below what you have read in June or even if you have read some of the books that I read this month as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!